I would like to ask the Minister for Environment, Food and Agriculture how many newly built domestic properties were assessed for air tightness in the past five years in compliance with building regulations and what proportion that was of the total built. So on the Minister to reply, Mr Burt. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Air tightness is a consideration all new buildings. New dwellings are either directly tested or their design detail is assessed under Regulation 24 and a checklist that sets out standards of fitting is completed for each plot and provided to the Building Control Department before a completion certificate is issued. Although testing for air tightness has taken place since the Building Control Regulations came into force in 2014 as part of the Building Control approval process, they have not been separately recorded until March 2017. Consequently, information prior to that date is not held except by reviewing manually each application. I can confirm that 91 tests have been recorded by the Department, with nine more being tested in Onken and Douglas from March 17 to March 19, totalling 100. House completions are recorded by the Cabinet Office as part of the Residential Land Availability Monitoring. The number of completions is determined by a combination of manually assessing building control applications and active monitoring of sites. This is done on a periodic basis. The latest figures indicate there were 1,195 units under construction, all completed island-wide between the 1st of July 2011 and the 30th of June uh, 2018. If about 170 dwellings are completed each year, calculated from the average between 2011 and 2018, and approximately 50 are air tested each year, then air type testing is undertaken on about 30% of new dwellings, albeit the remainder are approved under Regulation 24. I intend bringing forward proposals to amend the building control regulations and the associated approved documents before the end of this parliamentary session. Those amendments among other measures to reduce emissions from buildings, will introduce the requirement that all dwellings are air tightness tested. Here, here. Here, here. Commentary, Mrs. Kane. Um, thank you, Mr. President. I thank the Minister for his answer, and I am very pleased to hear that the amendments to the building regulations will ensure that all dwellings are um, red, uh, tested for air tightness. Is he aware, though, that we might have a bit of an issue with retrofitting or air testing needed on a large number of properties? He said that 30% of new dwellings were tested, but is he aware that many of those houses were not chosen at random, that the, the dwelling tested for air tightness is selected by the contractor and presumably has been given extra care in that construction? Even so, they often fail. The air tester then advises on remedial actions and retest, and then if they pass, they get the certificate. So, in many cases, building control might be unaware of the initial favor, fa failure. Um, it does make you wonder what condition the, the ones that not tested were. Um, does the minister feel that there is a need to encourage people to get their property air tested for the benefit of the environment and to reduce the emissions and indeed their heating bill for air testing, especially if it's under guarantee from the Developer. Yeah, uh, thank you. Well, all of the dwellings uh, would have been constructed uh, under uh, approval under Regulation 24 and should comply. We are aware uh, that uh, there are uh, deficiencies, hence we are mandating that all buildings in future uh, will be air tightness tested. Um, in our statistical uh, analysis, we found uh, evidence of only two properties that needed retesting, um, and there has been a combination of uh, the developers and building control officers selecting buildings, but uh, we are aware that that system could be manipulated, and hence we're bringing it in for all dwellings. And uh, with regard to um, people who have bought dwellings recently, uh, if they feel that they're uh, not in compliance with uh, Regulation 24, uh, then it's a matter between them and the developer if the properties are still under guarantee and maybe they should seek advice in that respect.